I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to find slope of a diagonal, horizontal and vertical line. So on a coordinate system we are given three different lines here. So let me name these lines. So let me call this line as L and then we have a vertical line. Let me call that as M and a horizontal line. Let me call that as N. So we have these three different lines. We'll find slope of each one of them. Now, can you tell me what kind of slope are you expecting for this diagonal line? It is rising. We are expecting a slope of positive number, right? Slope is positive. For the vertical line, we expect undefined slope. And for a horizontal line, we expect slope of zero, right? So let's see how to find the slope, right? So let's pick up some points. So let me take start with line the diagonal line. So I'm taking up this point which we can use at two places and the origin. Origin is always a good point to take. Origin really means 0, 0, correct? So both x and y values are 0 and this point, let me call this point as A for the time being and the coordinates for this point is 1, 2, 3 is the x value and 3 is the y value. So let's find slope of line L. So we are considering slope of line L. So I'm writing L as a subscript to M. M normally we use the symbol for or a letter for slope. Now the formula, slope formula is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1, right? Now here x2 y2 is 3 and 3, x1 y1 is 0, 0. Let's substitute the values. So 3 minus 0 divided by 3 minus 0, okay. 3 minus 0 divided by 3 minus 0. Let's not simplify it. So we get 3 over 3 as 1, right. So remember the steps involved. First step is slope formula, right. You have to give reasons for each statement. And second is substitute. And the third one is simplify. When you follow these three steps, you get your slope, right? Let's repeat these steps and find slope of the next line. Now, let me take the horizontal line first. So I'll use this time, this particular point, and let's say this point, these two points, okay? So we'll use these two points. This point is minus three, and here also is minus three. How about this? This is plus 3 and minus 3. x value is plus, y is minus. Correct. So we are now trying to find slope of line n. So let me write m for slope, n subscript for the line. It helps. Formula you know is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So apply the formula. x1, y1, x2, y2. Minus 3, minus of minus 3 divided by plus 3 minus of minus 3. Now that gives us minus 3 plus 3 divided by plus 3 plus 3 which is 0 over 6 and that is 0. So as expected we have a horizontal line correct. So horizontal line slope should always be 0. Correct. 0 slope. Now let's take up the third line which is vertical line for us and we have named it as M. The slope of the third line is, apply the formula, slope formula is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 and we are going to consider these two points now. So let us say this is x1 y1 this time, this is x2 y2. Then y2 is here, so we'll say y2 minus y1 which is which is this, divided by x2, which is 3, minus 3, okay. So what do we get? We get minus 6 over 0. Now minus 6 over 0 is undefined, right? So we get slope which is undefined. All vertical lines have undefined slope, correct? So from here, we can write down what do we get? So we get vertical line, okay, vertical line, 
and we find slope is undefined. Okay. So, slope of a vertical line is always undefined. You will note that when we are talking about two points on a vertical line, in that case their x values are same, right? The x values are same. But when we talk about the horizontal lines, then their y values are same, right? Therefore, the numerator is same. I mean, taking away the same values, you get zero numerator. Here, denominator is same, dividing by zero is undefined. That is how we look into it. Another thing which you observe here is that we have a postulate that says vertical and horizontal lines are always perpendicular. You can see that, right? So vertical lines and, per and horizontal lines are always perpendicular, right? So that's a postulate which also we can visualize here with this example. I hope that helps you to visualize and understand how the slope should be by looking at a line, correct? If I have a line which is dropping down, for example, then what do you expect? You expect a negative slope for this one, correct? So that's something which you can uh, work on, right? So you can draw lines just as I did, couple of lines here, and find slope of those lines as a practice question. Thank you.